Hey everybody, welcome back to the Learn AP Chem series here at Learn AP. In this video, we're going to talk about covalent bonds and polarity. So we're going to talk about what a covalent bond is, how does a covalent bond differ from a traditional ionic bond, and what does it mean for an atom to be polar. Before we get going, leave a comment if you're confused or have questions, and you can also ask in the weekly live streams we do every Sunday from 5 to 6 p.m. Eastern. All right, so let's get started. All right, so let's talk about covalent bonds here. So in ionic bonds that you're familiar with, one atom is sort of taking the electron. So let's look at NaCl. So we have sodium metal combining with chlorine to form NaCl. So here, um, chlorine is taking one of sodium's electrons. Now in a covalent bond, electrons are shared because the attraction in one atom isn't much stronger than the other ones. So here chlorine is much more what we call electronegative than sodium. It, it wants electrons much more. So it's able to sort of rip the electrons off of sodium and take it for itself. So that would be an ionic bond. Now, if we look at the molecule water, um, oxygen and hydrogen aren't much more different in terms of electronegativity. So one can't really take the electrons from the other. So they actually sort of share the electrons between each other. Now, typically covalent bonds happen between two nonmetals. So again, our example is water. And just note that rather than it being binary between ionic versus covalent, it's really actually a spectrum. So some bonds are more ionic than others, and some are more covalent than others. But some bonds are sort of ionic and sort of covalent. So again, this, this is sort of a hard topic to grasp. So if you've got questions about that, don't be afraid to leave a comment. All right, so let's talk about polarity now. Now, in a covalent bond, electrons are shared between atoms, as I've talked about. But oftentimes, the shared electrons will be hogged by the atom with greater electronegativity. And this results in polarity, where one part of a molecule is negative and one is positive. And again, this is, they're very slightly positive. And um, in terms of how positive and how negative and how polar, uh, we're going to talk about that more in later videos, but just sort of know this concept of polarity. And note that these happen instantaneously and are called dipole moments. All right, so that brings me to today's challenge problem. Is the bond in SO2 ionic or covalent? And if it is covalent, which element, oxygen or sulfur, will be hogging the electrons? So the solution to this problem is on our website, learn-ap.com. I'll also include a direct link in the description. If you guys found this video helpful, please like and be sure to subscribe for future content. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for updates about our new videos and live streams, which we do every Sunday, where we answer your questions about AP Chem. Those are from 5 to 6 p.m. Eastern. Links for that stuff will also be in the description. Leave a comment if you're still confused about anything, or also any other comments on the video in general. Other than that, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.